okay there's a, there's a small group here they're cutting and you can see their retreat where they're going into right over there they're only about 20 centimeters from their hole so they never go very far and never go in very big groups on the left side you can see they're cutting up that piece of leaf So it's the greatest construction project of any species uh, visible that we know of besides humans. All right? Now it's been hidden here for hundreds, thousands of years, and only recently has it become really known to science. Or, uh, so it's a fantastic discovery in that sense, that it was, it was here, but it wasn't known. It's like a, like a Mayan temple in the in the forest it, it was there but we didn't know about it they they don't live in the mounds the mounds are just um, trash piles or or uh, slag piles as it were they tunnel underground and to get rid of the material They'll, they'll, the, the, there's a, there was a tube when these mounds were formed, there was a tube going up to the top, and they just reach, they go up the top and just throw the stuff out. Just throw it out and throw it out, and, and uh, no, there was no architecture just throwing it out, so it formed these, these cones on the ground. When I sent these samples off to be analyzed, I was saying, give me 800 years, give me 800 years, that'd be really neat. And it came back, these mounds are almost, some of them are almost 4,000 years old, which is just absolutely unbelievable, all right? We're talking about the age of the pyramids, uh, uh, the, before Rome, the, the termites were building these, well, the Romans were building the, their columned uh, uh, buildings, these ants were, these termites were building their mounds. Desde quando foi fundado o mundo, que esses Murundu foi feito para o nosso Pai Eterno. Essa casinha aqui foi feita no Murundu, é barro, é da terra. Fez os, o, o, os tijolinhos ali que nele mostrou a fome, aí foi levantando e estamos aí, ó. We use these mounds that are half cut by roads because they're because they're really tough and you and to get into them you could it would take you all day to 
to expose the surface that hasn't been exposed to light before. And you take a, a metal pipe and you bang it in. That's good. It's a good. It's a good sample. These are like Mayan temples here that that the locals knew were here, but uh, the eye of science, the critical eye of science, is is just just discovering these these mounds, and we're we're still in the dark about what's happening here. But that leaves a whole entire universe of opportunity for investigating them.